From dual control rooms filled with data, monitors, maps, and flashing lights, PJM's highly trained and dedicated dispatchers constantly track electricity use throughout the PJM region. Working together as a team, they use the latest tools and technology to track changing conditions and ultimately maintain the flow of power throughout the grid. The primary focus of everything in this control room is to maintain the reliability of the system. Consumers need to have confidence that as they switch their lights on, switch their televisions on, heaters, air conditioners, there's no question. Those things are going to operate, they're going to work. They don't have to worry about where that power is coming from. That's the responsibility that the operators behind me have, the responsibility this company has to do that 365 days out of the year. Uh, 24 hours, seven days a week, weekends, holidays. They're always here to make sure those lights stay on for all of those customers that need them. Let's take a look behind the scenes at who's who in the PJM control room. PJM's dispatchers work side by side with reliability engineers who are on duty to provide real-time analysis and engineering support. They conduct studies that incorporate forecasts, available power supplies, and any limits on transmission lines to prepare dispatchers for each day. Things that a reliability engineer does is we maintain power system security. Uh, this is accomplished through our making sure our EMS model matches the field equipment, and uh, we also make sure that the power system studies are constantly being run correctly. Reliability engineers constantly study the physical limitations of the transmission system and keep watch for hypothetical scenarios that could test those limits, such as the loss of a piece of equipment. If you lose a transmission line, it's going to have to readjust how the, the power is flowing. If a generator is lost, all the other generators in the interconnection have to output more generation to make up that loss of generation. So we want to make sure that everything is completely balanced at all times with us, with our neighbors. If a generator trips out in New York or out in Canada, you know, we can sometimes feel the effects down here. As for the dispatch team, PJM operators begin their control room careers as master coordinators. They make sure there's enough overall electricity generation available through our markets or other contracts to meet the region's expected power use. There are several power producers, people who produce electricity, throughout the East Coast and Southeast parts of the Midwest that are all a part of what we call the PJM footprint. They're all under the PJM umbrella, if you will. Each one of those entities gives us an estimate of how much electricity they can give us on a day ahead basis. Based on how much they can produce, we schedule that in accordance to how much electricity we think is gonna be consumed the next day. Master coordinators also track the minute-by-minute -minute flow of electricity between PJM and our neighboring grid operators. We work with them to import and export power across systems. An on-staff meteorologist works alongside the master coordinator to prepare a forecast of the day's expected electricity use. As you can imagine, the amount of electricity that we use across our system each day is highly dependent on the weather, particularly um, in the summer on hot days, um, you're looking at air conditioning load and in the winter, on um, cold days, you're looking at heater load. Part of my job is to take weather data from a number of different sources and distill it to what's the most important. I'm able to use my experience uh, that I have here at PJM to decide which incoming pieces of weather information are going to be the most actionable for our dispatch staff. PJM's generation dispatchers maintain the balance of supply and demand in real time they use the latest technology to analyze grid conditions and call for the least cost generation available to serve the region's power use. My role here at PJM is uh, to ensure the reliability of the electric grid and uh, I do this by ensuring that we have enough generation online to meet the customer demand. Generation dispatchers make sure we have enough reserves in case of unexpected outages or changes in electricity use. Think of it like a spare tire in your car. It's reacting to things that are happening in the moment. So if a unit trips offline, I have to replace that generation as, as soon as possible in order to maintain the reliability of the system. Generation dispatchers also coordinate PJM's regulation services, which correct the small mismatches between supply and demand that occur when electricity use quickly rises or falls. Master dispatchers monitor the flow of power throughout the transmission system and watch for any limits or constraints on high voltage power lines. 
This can happen when there's a heat wave or when a line unexpectedly goes out of service. For someone who's not familiar with what we do at PJM, an easy way to put it is if you have a weight hanging at the end of two rubber bands and that weight is getting heavier and heavier, those rubber bands are gonna stretch. Now, what we're monitoring for is the loss of one of these rubber bands. If one of those rubber bands happens to break, that other one's gonna be stressed and stretched much longer. We wanna make sure that that stress doesn't break the other rubber band or damage it. And that's what we're operating the whole system to is the loss of any facility doesn't stress or overload another facility or rubber band in this simple analogy. Shift supervisors oversee the complete operation of the control room. They manage the staff on shift, as well as communicate with utility partners, regulators, and other grid operators to ensure that electricity continues to flow efficiently to different regions. To become a shift supervisor, you have to work your way through the room, so you've, you've, you're proficient in all the positions within the room. Each position has a more detailed view of what they're looking at. I'm watching the bigger picture. My role as a shift supervisor is not unlike a head coach of a football team. I'm not the guy throwing the pass. I'm not the guy catching the football. I'm the guy coaching the team to hopefully win the game or get through the end of the day, keep the power flowing. Dispatchers are highly trained and must earn generation and transmission certifications from PJM. They must also be certified by the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, an organization that enforces electric reliability standards. After my first day, I went right into the control room and I was partnered with a certified master coordinator and he teaches me the job right on the job. After 12 weeks, I take an exam and I qualify as a master coordinator and I also have to take a, a NERC certification exam in order to qualify as a NERC certified operator and be able to watch, stand that watch desk alone. In addition to the extensive training they receive at the start of their jobs, dispatchers spend eight weeks each year participating in grid exercises and control room simulations. Just getting to interact with everyone on the shift, not just the master coordinators, but the generation dispatchers and the power dispatchers and the supervisors and the REs has been very exciting for me, just being able to be part of that control room atmosphere right from the get-go and see exactly what is going on and what is going to be expected of me. Teamwork is at the core of PJM's operations. By working together, we provide value to our members and the 65 million people who rely on us to keep the power flowing. PJM reduces costs, facilitates information sharing, and administers a $50 billion wholesale electricity market, the largest in the world. We encourage innovation and investment in new resources to build a better, cleaner power grid for the future.